boy is electric. Hi everyone, welcome back to the EV Puzzle. Uh, I've got time to do another video today, so I thought I would get the one out of the way with air source heat pumps and why I'm not going with the Octopus proposal. Well, the Octopus proposal that never came because they haven't uh, actually proposed anything. They haven't given me a quotation for an air source heat pump. I had the survey and that didn't go too well from my perspective or from theirs. So I want to talk you through that today and, and why I'm not going to be going with an air source heat pump from Octopus, maybe not an air source heat pump at all. You know, it's it's put me off slightly um, with what happened. Now, I'm conscious that air source heat pumps are a very popular topic at the moment, so it'd be very easy to be pro or negative towards them and do it for clicks and all this sort of stuff, but I'm just not interested in it. Um, what I'm presenting is my view, my experience, and it might be a little bit unique, but I suspect there'd be quite a few people in a similar position to me. So it's good to share the detail of what's happened and what I think about it so that others don't think um, they're on their own if they're going through the same sort of process. Right, so Octopus turned up. There were two of them, uh, two nice gentlemen, absolutely lovely. And uh, one was in a diesel van, one was in a hybrid van. Um, so not the best of starts uh, there, I suppose. Um, and they basically went around the house and measured up every room, every window, every doorway, um, and then asked lots of questions about the fabric of the house and when it was made, all those sort of things, and insulation in the loft. And what they're basically doing is creating a diagram um, like an estate agent would do for sellings that shows the flow of the house and the room designs and sizes. And that design goes into a calculation to work out um, the amount of potential heat loss from the house and from that calculation they can size up radiators per room they can size up the air source heat pump power size that needs to provide the capacity of heat to actually heat your home to the right level so they took quite a while to do that one of the things that surprised me about the survey was it was their only appointment for the day so they turned up early in the morning one appointment for the entire day that doesn't seem very efficient. Um, I can't believe they take two people for one day per installation. That's a lot of manpower, a lot of resource um, to do. I, I can understand, therefore, they want to pre-select the people that they want to go around to make sure that uh, it's not a wasted journey like it was with mine. Um, but I hope they can do it more efficiently in the future because it does sound like an expensive way of surveying homes. I've had two two quotations before for air source heat pumps one was finger in the air to see um, what they thought based on experience and i gotta say that guy who had installed quite a few air source heat pumps knew my sort of house knew the size um, measured up very very quickly and came to the conclusion it was six kilowatts of heat loss is um, what we were dealing with and uh I had, I had a lot of confidence in, in that approach. I can't believe I'm saying that. You know, non-scientific method with no data, etc. But the guy did know what he was talking about and had had lots of experience. And he wasn't far out. The second quotation I had came up with a similar result, but he basically just overquoted, And all he was interested in doing was flogging equipment and flogging uh, his services at, at an extremely high rate for the install. So the more proportion he could put towards the install, uh, the happier he appeared to be. It, it was very obvious. Not a scam, but profiteering. I don't know, taking advantage. I, I don't know what you'd call it, but um, it's not for me. I want a more genuine install and a genuine price. Hence, hence I went with Octopus. Um, they're keen to get installs done, keen to be efficient, keen to train people, keen to get the price down. Um, and they're buying the equipment in bulk. Made a lot of sense that um, Octopus could deliver a good solution. Anyway, um, what happened with Octopus, let's cut to the crunch. They declined because they found some microbore pipes, some smaller. They weren't quite microbore, but they were smaller than the... Um, standard of pipe that they're looking for for all their um, radiators and all their houses where they install the air source heat pumps at the moment and the reason for that is they're clearly looking for um, a zero failure rate initially when they're rolling these out they want every home to be heated comfortably and adequately they don't want any homes where they go it didn't work it didn't provide enough heat so they're actually toning everything down. They won't go with smaller pipes. They won't go with slightly undersized radiators. They won't go with undersized anything. 
Um, even the air source heat pumps that they're proposing, which is Dakin, they're going to run at 50. So they want 50 degree temperature and the flow rate to go around and provide the temperature up to 21, 22 degrees in the house which is way more than I need, but that's the calculation they run on. So they're running on oversized radiators. They're running on lower temperatures than what the actual air source heat pump can run at, because I believe these Althermas can kick out over 60 degrees. So it's, it's all within capacity by a large degree, and they're, they're over-specking quite a few things from what I can see and all the questions I asked. That's what seems to be happening. They're oversizing to make sure what they deliver has the capacity to heat the home easily to any degree, any comfortable degree. Now, the first thing I notice about that is that's not what I want. Um, I don't want to have a system capable of heating to 22 degrees from a 50 degree um, temperature from the air source heat pump with half my windows and doors open um, from radiators that are bigger than we potentially need in rooms that I don't even use. So all of this excess that they're adding, that's not what I want. I want a system that's tailored to my needs. Yeah, I'd like one that is capable of heating for when I'm a little bit older and uh, might be less mobile and want more heat. So I do want a system that is capable, not just on the verge of heating things, but I certainly don't want excess. One of the things that I noticed was that they're offering... Hello, Susan. <laughs> I'm We've just got I'm, the PowerPoint. Oh well done. I'm just in the middle of doing a video. <laughs> Hello viewers. <laughs> the key fact that I took away from it was that um, Octopus are using two air source heat pumps. So you either fit in the six kilowatt category or you fit in the eleven kilowatt category. And they came back with a calculation of seven point two or seven point four kilowatts of heat loss. So more than what the finger in the air uh, method was and more than what the other guy was thinking because uh, both quotes I've had before were for six kilowatt um, air source heat pumps and they were going to propose an 11 so everything was going to be oversized and that's an absolute no for me so Octopus are turning me down because they found some pipes that just aren't perfect for their configurations doesn't mean it wouldn't work um, they probably thought it would the people that were quote uh, around doing the survey said it probably would work fine but they're not prepared to go with that. They need everything perfect for their installs. Me, I wouldn't touch an 11 kilowatt air source heat pump for our house because what I want is an air source heat pump that runs on tick over, that runs really gently and slowly within the solar capabilities that we have at winter. I don't want one that's burning a kilowatt, two kilowatts continuously, even when it's on tick over. Um, that's no good to me whatsoever and I'm not interested. Yes, it's got the capacity to heat the house and yes, it might use the right amount of kilowatt hours over a set period of time but it's a too high a peak of power um, i want it lower there are certainly air source heat pumps out there of a lower capability that are suitable to our home in my belief that will run at between four five six hundred watts that's more like it um, air source heat pumps from my understanding are designed better to run continuously and they will be more efficient running continuously whereas if i have an oversized heat pump it will start and stop more often um, that's inevitable so that higher continuous power output even at tick over of an air source heat pump of 11 kilowatt rating is the reason why i would say no i do not want that system because it's overpowered the other thing I started to notice was the amount of radiators they were oversizing and adding to our configuration. All of these extras that I didn't want, the extra capacity and the extra radiator size, that was eating into the 5,000 government grant because of course Octopus only want to install where customers get a 5,000 grant. But I don't want a system installed where I'm getting that 5,000 grant, but all it's doing is paying for the excess to meet the needs of some piece of documentation or some rule that Octopus have got. I wanted to meet my requirements, and this is what really stuck with me, that Octopus seem to be very, very focused on what their requirements are, and it's almost like they're using the customers as a trial. And I don't mind that, I get that, but it should be it should be to my financial advantage if that's the case otherwise the system should be designed for me and what i require and because they're sticking to their guns about what they install and how they do it 
there's just a mismatch between what feels comfortable to me, what I'm buying and whether it's um, oversized or effective for what my requirements are and the reasons why things are being proposed. The other thing that um, really stuck with me and also with Susan as well is there was no real discussion in the survey about what radiators were actually available because the aesthetics of a radiator, the size, the width, the depth, the height, the colour, um, the design, all of those things are something that you have to consider because there's a lot of radiators, a lot of square meterage in your home. And if you don't like the look of them, if they're too big and too ugly, then why would you want them? And this is exactly what I found. They even said, I don't think we do stainless steel, you know, the chrome type towel rail radiators that I've currently got in my bathrooms. Well, absolutely no way are we taking out those chrome ones and putting in larger, ugly white ones. There's just no chance that that's going to happen. So air source heat pump, great thing. Um, great for energy saving. I'd love the cop values. I really want one. I would like to do that. But the, the compromise of having more radiators, bigger, fatter, taller, wider, white, uglier, big air source heat pump. It's just how many different things would I have to compromise to have their system? And because it's all oversized, it's going to cost more money than it ought to anyway. Right up front, they told me that it should cost between four and eight thousand pounds on average for the average installs that they're talking about. But that includes the five thousand grant. So we're talking between nine and thirteen thousand pounds. That's a huge amount of money for an air source heat pump and some radios and an install. Um, and our install was a very, very simple one. The hot water tank was right next to the electrics, right next to where the boiler was. The oil tank would be the exact position where the air source heat pump would go. And it's all very close. So the install wise was very, very easy for our site. But it, but it is just a no and it's really frustrating that it's a no. And it almost makes me feel that what I'm actually after is um, a self-install air source heat pump, but a much, much smaller one, not even a six kilowatt one because I want to disconnect all the radiators that we don't use. So I'd like to more have an air source heat pump system that runs the 50% of the house that we actually want to ha heat and actually want to use. And perhaps the other part of the house should be heated differently or with a separate air source heat pump. You know, I'm, I'm not sure e exactly, but it, to me, it makes no sense to install something that doesn't work effectively and efficiently for us. Yes, it could heat the house, the entire house, but it'd be heating that I don't need, heating rooms that I don't need. Yeah, and the aesthetics were, were the last straw, really. So I'm afraid it's a no for me. Um, I want a system that meets our requirements for working in conjunction with solar at low power rates. I don't actually mind if it uses more kilowatt hours over the period, if it actually uses it within the rates of the solar we're more likely to have. Um, that's, that's what I'm after. I certainly don't want one that fires up and stops and starts because it's massively overpowered. One of the things that we talked about with the surveyors was what actually is required. And they talked about about a metre tall um, reservoir tank, an extra tank on top of your hot water tank, which had to be replaced in my system as well. Um, they talked about needing this extra reservoir tank to increase the flow rate, to increase um, the heating that water and then flowing that around the radiators and they need the wide pipes and the big radiators because they want more capacity of water more liquid in the system that's hot flowing and circulating around to do the heat because they need more of it um, because it's at a lower temperature than it would be with a normal boiler now, i sort of get this but it's, it's another compromise with an air source heat pump you know an extra tank so as well as having to change my hot water tank to go with the Octopus air source heat pump, because it's my current one, a normal one, isn't compatible with an air source heat pump, they, um, they want to add this extra one that's um, another metre tall. So it's a good job I've got the space for it. But I don't really understand why you need all this extra stuff. You know, it, it bothers me as well that... Um, all this wet radiator system is a risk of flooding as well. And if you have higher pressure and more rates of flow of all the water, surely you've got more risk of leaks as well. And we've had a water leak from a pipe in the past, and it cost us four and a half thousand pounds, most of decoration, to actually resolve it and dig up some of the concrete floors to fix. So fiddling around with that and changing how the system works is all risk to me. I, 
in the back of my mind, I'd almost take all the radiators out and have a dry heating system. And hence, air-to-air, -air, air conditioning stroke heating systems appeal to me and then topping up with electric radiators um, because I don't like the idea of water in pipes and leaks and, and all those sort of things. But anyway, um, Octopus declined. I would have declined anyway and said, no, thank you. Um, and what I've gone for instead is a Mixergy hot water tank. So I'll just quickly explain a tiny bit about that. Um, I don't know much about it yet because it hasn't arrived and we haven't gone through the install. So I've got nothing much to share with you. But we've got a problem with our immersion on the current tank. The current tank needs servicing. It's absolutely full of lime scale. Hasn't been touched for a good 15 years. So it, um, it's in need of some servicing. So a few hundred pounds needed to be spent um, at least to get it up to a good standard anyway. And that tank would have to be replaced if we went with an air source heat pump. So it just made sense to me to go with Mixergy. I want the savings of fewer kilowatt hours going into hot water heating. I also wanted to save the money for the new immersion and the servicing, have it all new and fresh so I haven't got to worry about it for the next 15, 20, 25 years, hopefully. So that's what I've gone ahead with. It just seemed an opportune time because the Mixer VG system is also compatible with air source heat pumps. So you can buy an extra, um, I don't know what they call it, a plate kit. You, you can buy an extra kit for it that makes it um, compatible with air source heat pumps. So I haven't got that now, but I can get it if I get an air source heat pump. So I haven't ruled it out. Um, the changes I'm making are going to be compatible with air source heat pump, but there's for me there's just too many obstacles in the way um so we've said no at the moment hope that makes sense i uh, hope i'm not coming across as too negative towards octopus or to the air source heat pumps because i'm sure it'd be okay to some people we're being really fussy um i'm fussy because i like the data and i know that i want a lower powered um air source heat pump i don't need an oversized one i want to get the sizing right there are plenty of options out there so just because octopus have a six or eleven doesn't mean that I can't choose a 7 or an 8. It doesn't make sense. It needs to be appropriate for my needs. And then we've got the radiators. Well, there's no way Susan's going to agree to ugly white radiators that really stand out a lot more than the ones that we have now. So um, they need to be really nice. I might be being unfair to Octopus with that because maybe when the quote came through, you would then have the opportunity to change some of the specifications. I don't know. But the impression I got is it's very limited because they're selecting exactly what they're going to buy in bulk up ahead um, and that's what you're going to get so that's what i've discovered anyway hope that makes sense hope you've enjoyed the video uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click like for the video as well it all helps promote the video and uh, make them more popular so more people see it and the more people that see it the more we can share the experience in the journey thank you so much for watching take care see you again soon bye for now